Good morning, Springton Lake. Today is Friday, January 21st, 2022. Today is a day number two. At this time, would you please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Friday, everyone! I hope that you're all doing well and that you're ready to finish out the week on a strong and positive note. Hey, it's a half day of school for you, so you'll all be getting your weekend started a little bit earlier than normal. So let's put in some hard work and effort during this short period of time that you're here with us today. As you know, we'll be following a special schedule today. Dismissal is going to take place at 11 a.m. Now the order of the periods for today is going to be homeroom for attendance and announcements, second period, then either fourth or fifth period, depending upon your grade level, sixth and eighth grade, you're gonna to go to fourth period, seventh grade, you'll go to fifth period. Then everyone is gonna head off to eighth period. All of these class periods are gonna be about 30 minutes in length. Then everyone will go back to their first period class for a school-wide academic workshop. This is going to be your final opportunity for the second marking period to take care of anything that you need to do. Now, if you have a pass, you'll be able to leave homeroom to go see that teacher. Make sure that you check in first and present your pass. Otherwise, you're going to remain in your first period for the final hour or so of the day before dismissal. And this is work time, so you are going to be expected to be productive. You'll be able to check hack, complete any assignments, study, work on Delta Math, read. Again, it is work time, so there's no playing games, no just sitting there. So take advantage and take good use of this gift of time that we're giving to you. This announcement is for anyone who received an invitation to be a part of this year's Spartan Council. Make sure that you return your signed permission slip to the main office as soon as possible. Our first meeting is on Tuesday of next week during seventh period. The Lost and Found is currently on display in the main lobby. Please take a look and claim any item that belongs to you. Anything that is not claimed by Wednesday of next week is gonna be bagged up and donated. So this is your last and final call. Now looking ahead to next week, it's the start of a new marking period and a new semester. You're gonna be switching some special area classes and in sixth grade, if you're taking a world language, this is also going to change. So check out your schedule so that you know where you're going to be going. If you have a question, check with your teacher or with your school counselor. Next week is also going to be Kindness Week. This is gonna be an opportunity for all of us to be aware of our actions and to make a special effort to be a little extra kind and thoughtful to one another. Each day we're gonna be having a spirit theme and we hope that you'll participate. On Monday, we encourage you to spread kindness like the sun by wearing yellow. So set a reminder or write yourself a note to wear yellow on Monday and get ready to spread a little bit of kindness and positive energy throughout the week. Now with the start of the new semester and the second half of the school year, this is a great time to remind you of a couple of expectations that have started to slip a little bit. We're gonna be stepping, uh, stepping things up next week and enforcing some of these expectations around a couple of items. First, this is a reminder that head coverings including all types of hats, hoodies, beanies, scarves, you name it. These things are not permitted to be worn inside of the building. Now, in eighth grade, students who are eating in the cafeteria have been assigned to specific tables where they are expected to sit. Now, in some situations, we've noticed that people are not where they are supposed to be. So next week, we're gonna be taking attendance and checking to be sure that everyone is where they are assigned to eat. I'll share with you again in Schoology the document that lists your assigned table. So take a look at this and make sure that you get back to where you're assigned. Now, of course, for those of you who have been following the expectations, thank you very much. We'll continue to make other reminders in the days ahead in an effort to help get everyone off to a positive and successful start for the second half of the school year. The eighth grade Future Cities class is gonna be participating in their first ever competition tomorrow. We'd like to congratulate them on all of their hard work this semester and we wish them all the luck as they compete at the competition. 
Newspaper Club will meet on Tuesday, January 25th after school in Mrs. Williams' classroom. Finally this morning, it's time for our weekly Friday Funny segment. So let's see what I have for you today. So what do you call a sick eagle? Illegal. <laughs> Yesterday I gave Dr. Layton an apple and she told me that she said, I prefer pears. So I gave her another apple. Someone was telling me the other day that the word icy is one of the easiest words to spell. Looking back on it, I see why. Okay, Spartans, let's do this. Work hard and have a productive day. I hope that you all have an awesome weekend. This concludes our announcements for today. I thank you for your attention. And as always, let's make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.